Nikki Haley, the U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, joins us now. Ambassador Haley, good morning to you. Good morning, Matt. I, I want to talk about this American now being detained in North Korea in a second. But when you take that incident, Madam Ambassador, and you combine it with a threat to sink a U.S. aircraft carrier and a threat to conduct a nuclear strike against Australia, when you and your counterparts meet at the White House this morning, what can you possibly come up with? to reign in North Korea that hasn't been tried in the past and hasn't already failed in the past. Well, I think what you're saying is, um, you know, Kim Jong-un is starting to flex his muscles because he feels the pressure. Last week, the Security Council unanimously condemned what North Korea is doing with their testing. China has been considerably helpful in putting pressure on him. And I think he's just trying to show his strength to the people of his country. But we've been talking about containing work. North Korea for decades now, and it's not working. What new can you come up with? Well, working with China for the first time, they have really been our partner in trying to make sure that we hold him at bay. And I think it's a new day when you've got China and the United States working together on a statement to condemn North Korea. They've put pressure on him. He feels it. That's why he's responding this way. And I think it is a different day. What we have said from the beginning and what I'll continue to say is the United States is not looking for a fight. So don't give us a reason to have one. It's interesting that you say that because you said that you think he's responding to the pressure by flexing muscle by conducting more nuclear tests. I don't have to tell you, you have a very unstable adversary there. Does the tough talk and the rhetoric, things like from, Ms. from Mr. Trump saying, if, if China doesn't help us here, we'll do it ourselves. We may consider a preemptive strike coming from administration officials. Do you ever worry about the point of no return with words? Well, I think no, it's, that's not the case. And keep in mind, he's just trying to get the confidence of his own people. So when he does these things, he's not necessarily doing them to all of us. He's, as much as he's trying to prove to his own people he can handle this. He's very much feeling the pressure. I think you're starting to see him get very paranoid. And I think you're seeing pressure come from all parts of the international community. Uh, and I think we just have to keep the pressure up. I think what Savannah is getting at, Madam Ambassador, is when you have someone who is as unstable, seemingly, as Kim Jong-un, do you worry that words might force him into a catastrophic mistake? No, and I think if you look at what is happening now, if there's a catastrophic mistake, it's going to be because he's just continuing to try and instigate an issue. We're going to continue to be stable. We're going to continue to have the international community stable. It's the reason why none of us are even trying to pick a fight with him. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. What I can but, tell you is the international community right now is very united. A Ambassador Haley, every single leader says all options are on the table. They always say yeah. that. Is a preemptive strike against North Korea really being considered? Is the administration actively planning for that? We are not going to do anything unless he gives us reason to do something. So our What's goal that is reason? not to start a fight. What would that well, reason I mean, be? Do you have that threshold in your mind? Well, I think, you know, if you see him attack a military base, if you see some sort of intercontinental ballistic missile, then obviously we're going to do that. But right now we're saying don't test, don't use nuclear missiles, don't try and do any more actions. And I think he's understanding that. And I China's just, helping us really put that pressure let on Let me him. just make sure I understand what you just said. If he tests another intercontinental ballistic missile, if he were to test another nuclear device, when you say obviously we're going to do that, do you mean military retaliation? I think then the president steps in and decides what's going to happen. Uh, let me just ask you real quickly before I leave, do you have any more information on this American being detained, his whereabouts, or why he was detained? It's very hard to get information out of North Korea, obviously, but we're doing everything that we can. Um, you know, this makes three detainees that they have right now. And again, this is him trying to pick a fight with us. And what we're going to have to do is work very hard to find out information and see what we need to do to get these three out safely. Ambassador Nikki Haley. Ambassador Haley, it's always nice to see you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thanks so much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.